Hello students, today we will discuss transport phenomena, diffusion. I am Dr. S.B. Kolle, Department of Physics, Shivaji Arts, Commerce and Science College, Kandan, District, Aurangabad. So students, you know, transport of mass takes place from higher concentration region to lower concentration region. And this transport of mass gives rise to phenomena of diffusion. Now consider a gas having concentration gradient dn by dz along oz direction. Here, see here. Concentration gradient dn by dz along this oz direction. Now this gas is shown here and uh, three layers of gas have taken for study. And this AB layer of gas this CD layer of gas and this EF layer of gas. Now, EF layer is above AB layer at distance lambda, you know, CD layer is below AB at distance lambda, lambda is mean three part. Now, concentration of AB layer is N. Concentration of EF layer is N plus lambda dN by dz. Concentration of layer CD is N minus lambda dN by dz. Now, number of molecules coming from layer EF and crossing AB per unit area per second. The number of molecules from EF layer crossing AB in downward direction per unit area per second is given by this 1 upon 6 C into N plus lambda dn by dz. Now, number of molecules coming from layer CD and crossing AB upward per unit area per second. The number of molecules from CD layer crossing AB in upward directions per unit area per second is given by 1 upon 6 into C into in bracket N minus lambda dn by dz. Now, we have to calculate number of molecules, net number of molecules crossing per unit area per second of layer AB in downward direction. So, we have to take difference of this number of molecules coming from layer CD and crossing AB in upward direction. Also, the molecules coming from EF layer and crossing AB layer in downward direction. So, here we have taken the difference 1 upon 6 into C into N plus lambda dn by dz minus 1 upon 6 C into N minus lambda dn by dz. Simplifying this, we get 1 third C lambda into dn by dz. So friends, coefficient of diffusion capital D is given by ratio of this 1, 1 upon 3 C lambda dn by dz and this dn by dz. So it gives one third C lambda. Now we will see effect of temperature and pressure on this coefficient of diffusion D. You know lambda is equal to KT upon under root 2 pi sigma square P and C is under root 8 KT upon pi M. This is velocity or velocity of molecules. This is mean three path. So D is equal to one third C lambda. So put values of C and lambda from this equations one third kt upon root two into pi sigma square p into under root eight kt upon pi m it gives two upon three one upon sigma square p under root m into kt by pi raised to three by two so friends this coefficient of diffusion d is directly proportional to t raised to three by two and inversely proportional to pressure P. So it is directly proportional to temperature and inversely proportional to pressure. Relation between eta and D is coefficient of viscosity and coefficient of diffusion. So eta is equal to one third rho C lambda. So and D is equal to one third C lambda. So we can write relation between this eta and D as d is equal to eta upon rho d is equal to f dash into eta upon rho reference i used 
for preparation of this PowerPoint presentation. Thank you.